What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. It was against Chan Bu Chang. This level 7 farming clan, I guess you'd call them. They didn't have the greatest bases. It wasn't the most interesting war. Um, they used 52 of 60 attacks, so I'll just kind of scroll through here. Two star heroes on the nines. I don't think they got one three star. Oh yeah. But these were oh, number 10. Number 6, right? And look at this ahead of time. Uh, number six as well. So two bully attacks, one legit, um, three star. And then one star is on most of the 10. So their 10 struggle a lot as well. And as you'll see in some of these replays, they weren't the strongest guys. A um, few really nice attacks in there. Um, one thing I know the guys were probably pretty disappointed about was there were quite a few nines left on the board. Uh, not typical 2.0 fashion, but happens uh i'm sure they weren't happy about it but uh as you can see it didn't really matter uh, so i'm just going to jump into the replays right now <clears throat> i have three town hall 10 three stars to show you knx had a beastly six star warp sorry just don't mind this need my commentating juice all right let's check out knx's first three star okay it's number two so KNX, the monster, showing us how it's done. He's going to drop his king and his queen, I believe, yeah, down here. He's just going to, this is how, how well he knows his heroes. He's got three-point defense on his king. And he just knows he's still going to make it to that air defense and the queen, because that's his goal. That's why he opened up this wall. He's just going to walk the king down here. Drops the queen so he doesn't get that fourth-point defense on the king. Very smart. But he knows that queen hops the wall. King walks on. Air defense is down. Defensive queen is down. CC troops are going down. And he... I don't know how he times it. If um, this loon manages to live and kills the queen, which is what he wants. Boom. CC troops are now useless. So he sends in the air attack. He's got, I believe, four lava hounds cutting across this base. Horseshoe of haste all over. Just looking fantastic. Like, look at how many loons are moving into this core. Great freeze on that back end. Gets the Inferno Tower. Crossbow. Just missed that Tesla. But there was another Tesla that hadn't popped that you didn't see. Boom. Same freeze. Gets the same value with that Tesla. Look at these loons. Just over top with the Rage. Rage over that core. It just disappears instantly. Look at all these pups all around the base for cleanup. So, KNX, just great job here. Just really shows us how it's done on these TH10s. Last couple defenses going down. I'm going to fast forward this. The monster. KNX. Good job, man. All right, Don Leon. Putting up a three. Let's check it. Uh, so he, I believe, is going to, yeah, there's his queen, opens up the wall. There's his king. He's going to do the same thing. I think he drops a giant in here as well. Um, but again, like, all these point defenses on the king, and, and they just know how long he's going to last. That's why he drops the giant, I think. He doesn't want that queen shooting at his king too early. Soon as he walks in there, boom. Defensive, uh, queen is down. Air defense is down. King's moving in. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Their job's done. He sends an air attack. One, two, three, left four lava hounds from all sides of the base, just soaking up any traps he can find. Pops all the Teslas. He really wants this queen to go down. What I liked about this attack, the CC troops, because, again, like I had mentioned in the, in the last video, Town Hall 10s, a lot of clans, farming clans specifically, but a lot of clans have the tendency to put a, la a hound and a loon in every cc and the problem with that is if if you know what you're doing like Don Leon here he's going to take all that out without drawing the cc and then send in all air troops he killed this whole base without ever once aggroing the clan castle troops and that just is awesome to me because if you can exploit that you're in huge position if you don't even have to worry about the clan castle troops then you're just gold i, I like look at all these balloons just ridiculous. Don Leon kills it. Three star. Good job, man. Alright. KNX for his second three star. This is a pretty terrible base, not gonna lie. Not taking anything away from KNX, but <laughs> just look at it. <laughs> so he recognizes he can send in both heroes, 
probably just take out this whole top section of the base which includes those two air defense and he's going to send in four lava hounds on the bottom two air defense and just sorry about that and just send in his, his ring of loons and and his haste and he's just going to place these haste just perfectly look they're all touching each other and he's going to drop one more here to push it up into the core and then he's got a rage and two freezes for this huge value of teslas and infernos you can go boom look rage freeze freeze bam that core does not stand a chance unfortunately look at all those balloons just dropping bombs on everything he already had like look at all these cleanup troops he dropped a bunch of minions on this side this whole bottom of section of the base all this percentage is undefended because there was really barely any defenses to begin with he actually look too the archer queen is still alive with a minute 10 the pups and minions finally take it down he doesn't have a loon to stand on but it doesn't matter that archer there that wizard tower goes down he has two cannons remaining and look at all the pups look at all the look, there's minions in there too like doesn't stand a chance so great job knx nice six star war man gonna four times this and see the three star bit slow because he like i said he did lose all the loons but it didn't matter by that point <laughs> that arch queen never went down he wanted to go down that was quite a bit for his kill squad to take out but really, the primary focus was the two air defense, which you took care of. KNX, fantastic job, man. Keep it up. So I'm just going to quickly do a couple Town Hall 9s and call it a day on this war because it wasn't very interesting. Got an arranged war coming up this weekend. Happy to announce it fairly soon. Uh, can't really announce what the matchup is yet, uh, but uh, it is coming. So uh, we're all gearing up for that. Going to be a great recap. Uh, let's move on to maybe a couple. I think I had, yeah, Gen on 12 here. A lot of really funny not funny attack but uh cool attack just a cold-blooded goho i love it one goal gonna drop i think six wizards five wizards six wizards on the outside here creates a bit of a funnel he's gonna drop a jump spell he really just wants to get this queen and the cc troop so golem goes in king goes in right behind king's just literally gonna walk boom right to that golem i love it Sends in a hog for that arch, a few archer towers too to protect those wizards. I like that as well. Another wizard on this top side was safe until that cannon locked on. Uh, the kill squad's job is done though. The queen's going to lock onto this hound, which kind of poses a bit of an issue later in the raid, but she's already sent in, uh, I think, 20 hogs, I think, on this bottom side. They're just going to start moving around clockwise. She reinforces here on this archer tower to keep everything pushing up and through this core fantastic read on this base i mean not the greatest of bases um very easy bomb locations to read but still it doesn't always happen when you have these the, the difference between the, these forum bases if you're not johnny on the spot with your heels like you know at this point in the raid could be a bit of an issue i mean a bit off on that poison if that poison was just like a tile lower all those uh pups would be dead but they move into the poison now so they're getting taken care of really only one defense remaining Chan just murdered this base. <laughs> 36 hogs or whatever you brought. Great job, girl. Keep it up. Three stars. All right. Blow through one more. I had nice max attack to show you. Nightmare, number 14. So, again, kind of a weird foreign base maybe one of the better foreign bases i guess there's a few more bomb locations but everything's symmetrical it's just just not good so nightmares bringing a max attack so that includes two golems four earthquakes a raise a hail and a poison gonna open this entire area up to these two air defenses and this defensive archer queen the cc comes out he's very patient on the king king goes in cc troops are under the poison now so they're not going to do anything queen's going to start working on them in one second as soon as that king goes down king goes down she locks onto the cc troops king locks onto the defensive queen she goes down just a matter of getting this last air defense and he can start his air attack with these three lava hounds and 16 balloons from the backside. boom second air defense goes down and instantly you will see well maybe not instantly there it is lava hound goes down loons backing up instantly Two more balloons, two more balloons, just targeting those defenses, guys. I can't express how important it is to target your balloons. I see far too often in, you know, clans that aren't as experienced just spamming loons all, all, all along here. You know, if you, she had, or sorry, if Nightmare had dropped more than balloons that he did, they would still all be going to the same defenses. You don't need more 
then a hand like you know three or four balloons on a, a max crossbow to take it down or inferno tower so on an archer tower or a wizard tower you don't need more than two balloons target those balloons to the defenses and really get that good spread and just be patient and let your lava hounds tank and you're looking good last air defense is going down this ground crossbow is not doing anything it's in trouble boom it goes down we got an arch tower cannon and a tesla to go things are looking fantastic nightmare just absolutely ripped this base apart good job man bit of a cleanup on this back end it doesn't matter pups are way too fast and there's way too many of them all right three stars so just a quick little recap here for you guys. Like I said, it wasn't a super interesting war. Uh, but we're gearing up for this weekend. Going to be a good weekend. I have good thoughts, great uh, great plans. Going to be uh, throwing around line, and we're going to have some great twiddler sessions. It's going to be one of those good old good old fashioned planning weekends for a, for a war we're really excited about. So uh, stay tuned guys. We've got some great content coming up. We had a really, really great war on Invicta as well. We're doing the recap uh, tomorrow morning. I think DWS and I are going to get together and do a dual commentary. Uh, yeah. So content's going to be continuing on. Uh, I think that about does it for me for tonight though. Uh, that's uh, your wisdom from wiser guys. Just trying to help you guys bag that next three star. Until then I am out.